Hi class, today we are going to do practical number 5a uh, which is IP tables firewall. So you can see in previous video, I just tell you what is IP tables and uh, what is the IP tables rule and how we will set some IP tables rule. So first of all, you need to install IP tables in your system. For that, you need to type yum install IP tables. Okay, uh, it's installed in our system and uh, also do some yum install IP tables iPhone services. Yum install IP tables and IP tables iPhone iPhone services sir pieces okay so IP tables in installed in our system let's clear the screen okay now some sets of IP tables rule uh, for that you need to start the IP tables so you have to do system CTL start IP tables they successfully started let's take check the status or IP tables it is successfully activated and it's running right now okay so clear the screen so uh, one thing if you need to run the IP tables for that you need to disable your firewall which is named as the firewall D uh, it is by default present in your system system CTL status firewall D wait firewall D okay uh, you can see my firewall D is masked and inactive okay let's clear the screen and uh, let's start with IP tables so first of all list the IP tables for that you need to have IP tables hyphen L hyphen N hyphen V press enter now you can see there are two uh, three chains over here input forward and output you can uh, if you get more output accept this so just do IP tables IP tables and capital F for flushing clear the screen okay so uh, okay now uh, IP table is flushed let's set some rule over here let's go to our PPT now you can see IP table siphon T then the table input then options and then matching and then actions it is the syntax of IP tables. So for that you need to type IP tables hyphen. Now you can see table. So first of all you need to define the table. If you are not defining the table, it means it by default goes through the filter table. Okay. So right now I'm uh, selecting over here filter table. Now set the rule append. Let do output destination. Let's see 192, 169.21 okay and set the rule jump which is action if this is going to be match then do a jump to reject reject all in caps press enter now let's uh, check it out now you can see over here uh, protocol is all source is uh, all destination is this 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 with reject port is unreachable okay so when you try to ping that port ping 192.168.29.11 so you can see over here operation is not permitted because you are blocked that uh, destination to your IP table system okay let's clear the screen now uh, do some practical result uh, means do some practical overview okay let's clear the thing and uh, let's do it practically with uh, different website so if you need to uh, know what is the IP address of the Google for that you need to type host google.com now you can see IP address is 142.250 and so and so okay so let's block this just same command we have to type and then press this not going to be work okay reject okay press enter 
now i uh, if i ping with that server 142.1250.192.142 it will not permit it to our system because we block that ip address uh, so how we will unlock that ip address first to ip tables now you can see there are two rules set over here first one is 29.11 and second one is 142 and this of this so uh, this you can see this is right now in output table so if we need to delete that table for that you know ip tables hyphen capital d and uh, output and that line number this is the first line number this is the second line number so i need to delete the second one i need to type d clear the screen and let's take it out rules once so right now you can see uh, we set some rules over here and it is deleted right now and uh, let's ping it that ip address again so right now you can see it is connected to that ping or that server also okay so this is how ip tables work uh, if you need to block input destination or input source so for that you need to some change uh, do some changes in our in our command so filter table is going to be constant append then here you have to put input then destination or source ip then reject so this is how you can set your ip tables in linux operating system uh, if you have any doubt just comment it down i will definitely reply on your questions okay Thank you so much.